Hey, Dustin Tibbetts here, financial advisor with Jazz Wealth Managers. How you doing today? Hope you're doing well. Well, thanks for watching. We're going to talk to you today about a really specific sort of retirement plan, just kind of to, well, kind of to tease how we do things here for customers, but uh, really to just kind of give you some ideas of how you can maybe work this into your own mix. See how it fits with what you're currently doing. We're going to see how much it's going to take for a 40-year-old to have $55,000 a year in retirement. So we're gonna make some assumptions here. You can agree or disagree with them. Uh, and let me know in the comments below if you think we should change some things up. We could do these every now and then. It takes a little bit of work for me to put these together. I do this for every single one of our clients. So it gives you an idea kind of the work we go through. But um, I get a lot of questions on it where people say, well, what, sh what should I do? How should I go about it? And so let's touch on it here. The first thing we're gonna do is we have to know how much do, do you already have saved. So if you're a 40 year old guy or girl, right? How much do you already have saved up? And I'm going to assume you have $25,000 in a workplace plan. Uh, maybe you have some sort of IRA already set up. Let's just call this a 401k, right? So you got 25,000 already saved in a 401k. That's important because we need to know how much you already have saved. We also need to know about how much is that money growing on average, what are the investments like? What do you got put in there uh, so we can anticipate some growth on that? Now, we're gonna say, how much do you want an income a year? We're not asking how much do you want the whole, I want a million dollars, right? We're not saying that. We're actually taking a look at how much income you like. Well, in this case, this particular, we'll call him a customer. This particular person says, I make $55,000 a year now. I can enjoy that. I've got my bills paid. And so I'd like to have $55,000 a year in total income when I retire. Meaning, whatever that dollar amount works out to be, I wanna retire at the age of, or oh, we use 67 in this case. So we're gonna say 67 to retire, right? I want to spend from age 67 until age 89, $55,000. I realize that with inflation and everything, it's actually gonna be a higher dollar amount, but in today's terms, break it down for me, how much do I need uh, to save there? now? We're gonna also ask about other income. This is social security. I've been making a big deal out of this to my customers lately because there's a lot of uh, issues there where people say it's not gonna be there for me. I broke it down, did a whole class for customers to show them exactly how social security is sort of paid out to you and why it's definitely gonna be there for you. So the average social security check right now is $1,500 a month. Comes out to $18,000 a year. So I'm gonna use that $18,000 a year in expected social security for someone who's gonna retire at the age of 67. I think that's even under the amount to be honest with you. So uh, bear with me on that one. I'm just trying to underestimate here. Okay, now we're going to assume that this person has the 401k and this will be taxed at 25%. The withdrawals that they make will be taxed at 25%. That's high, right? We know that's high. You can look at the tax tables right now. We know it's high, but I'm sort of trying to uh, under promise and over deliver, right? I'm just trying to overestimate because we don't know what's gonna happen 27 years from now when this person retires. Now we've got to factor in some kind of inflation. And this is important because I tell people to factor 3% inflation, but we're going to work on it as we go. Meaning whatever number I come up with or we can generate from running all this, it, we're going to increase that number by whatever inflation is. Now I need to put a number into the system, so I'm gonna put 3%, but if inflation comes in at 3.5% or 2.2% like last year, then that's the amount we're gonna raise our contribution by. I'll go over that in just a second. The final thing we need to do is we need to figure out some sort of growth rate. I'm going to use an 8% return expectation. I hope you can see that. 8% return expectation for a couple of reasons. Now stick with me here. Someone's gonna give me a hard time about this. You're gonna say, oh, you should use 7%, Dustin. No, in the general online calculator sort of, hey, Google, how much money should I save sort of thing, uh, you're gonna probably use 7%. The markets actually return 9.8% over their lifespan. The S&P 500 throughout its history has returned 9.8%. When you back out some inflation, everybody says, okay, about 3%, let's round down and go, let's call it 7%. That's where you get that 7% number from. Remember, in our case, we're gonna factor inflation as we go so that we have a tighter number. We don't have to guess what the average inflation rate's gonna be. We're gonna know what it's gonna be and then contribute accordingly, okay? Very, very, very important there. 
So because of that, by me assuming an 8% return, if you back out inflation, it's kind of like I'm anticipating a 5% average return. So in reality, although that says 8%, it's really a net 5%, which is way lower than what you should probably be guessing in your uh, 401ks there, so or in your retirement accounts. So if we put that all in here, person that's 40 years old, 67, wants to retire with $55,000 a year, they need to save $7,887 in the first 12 months. So from the time that today, right? From the time that we run this, that's how much they have to save and they're going to increase this by the rate of inflation a year. So plus 3% next year, plus whatever inflation is, whatever and ever and ever. So you get the idea of how we're working this out. Did I not zoom in? Look at me. There you go. Now you can see. So initially, 7887 for the first 12 months, then raise it by 3%. And you go, well, Dustin, um, man, that's a lot. 40, uh, maybe I got some bills. I, I, I can't do that. In this case, we're assuming the person has their bills paid. Well, if you think about it, the person told us from the beginning they get paid $55,000 a year. So if they get paid $55,000 a year and they're putting in 3% to their 401k, still with me? It's a lot of running a lot of numbers by you. 3% in their 401k and they got a 3% match, that should be $3,300, right? So that the first $3,300 of this 787 it comes in their 401k. 3% from a match, 3% from uh, them putting in three, the 3%, right? So $3,300 knocked out right away. That leaves $4,587 that they've got to invest somewhere. Doesn't mean they have to invest it in the markets. They just got to invest it in something that will return a net 5% or 8% before inflation. So maybe you could figure out some kind of rental property, you have a business, or I don't know, it could be anything really, but for retirement, if that's what they want to do, they've got a little bit of a balance they got to work out there. I'm going to say for this person, since they're 40, we have the ability to go with a Roth IRA. This gives them the option to retire a little early if they want to and take the money out before age 59 and a half. Although this is not going to happen for this person. Uh, they're dead set on this. They actually love their job, by the way, who I'm, person I'm referencing. Uh, so they got 4587 to put in their Roth IRA. If they do it that way, then they've got their 3% going into the 401k, right? They get their company hopefully matching more in the future, but for now, they're matching 3%. That means they need to put in $88.21 a week into a Roth IRA. If they do that, then they're on track. Now, that's only for the first year. From there, we've got to raise that number by 3% or whatever inflation is. Let's hope it's lower than that for some reason. I mean, it is at the moment, but uh, maybe it's less. And so each year, they're going to say 7887. Okay, it's been a year. Inflation was 2.5%. Times the 7887 by, let's say it's 2% or 2.5%. They Oh, should have just done the one. <laughs> 7887 times two and a half%. Next year, it means they're gonna put in $8,084.17. Year after that, they'll raise it by whatever inflation is. If inflation comes in higher, then they're gonna to have to raise uh, their contribution amount. But this is like the tightest way you can calculate this number so you don't have to guess for inflation. You could always adjust the returns as you go and say, I don't wanna take as much risk or I wanna take a lot more risk. I'm ready for more growth, right? And so that's a way to kind of put that in there. I do this for every one of our customers here at Jazz Wealth. Where do you land, by the way? If you're around 40 years old, are you in this ballpark? Remember, this person saved $25,000 already in their 401k, right? So I hope that helps there. I also hope you'll join us for the closing beat. We do it every day uh, after the close at five o'clock Eastern time, live on our YouTube channel. We go over the stock market and all the good stuff that's happened in the stock market. But if you're not interested in that, maybe you'll help us and hit the subscribe button so we can keep bringing you cool videos like this. Uh, check out our channel. We got a lot of great little short videos there for you to watch. Um, and yeah, enjoy the rest of your day. We'll see you later. Why should you choose Jazz Wealth as your retirement or long-term investing service? Our portfolios are managed by us, not some faceless mutual fund manager. Our private classes will teach you everything about investing and getting your dough straight. Best of all, our fiduciary standard means your best interests comes before ours.